Now that you've had time to reflect on your first reading of the story of an hour by completing the three, two, one formative assessment, you're going to get into small breakout groups of three to four people and complete the TQE method. Um, in the TQE method, you're going to record your thoughts about the text, any questions that you have, and any epiphanies that you've had. So you should have already generated some ideas with your 3 to 1 formative assessment. So when you get with your group, that might be a good place to start. So what details did you notice? Um, and then you can kind of clear up any misconceptions or misunderstandings with your group. Remember, there are oftentimes more than one interpretation, so be open to talking that out. Um, the ideas that you're still stuck on might turn into questions. So in your groups of three, you're going to have um, 10 to 15 minutes to share your thoughts, lingering questions, or epiphanies. So your thoughts are just any ideas and opinions about the text. What do you think it means? What do you notice about the plot? Um, and then try to clarify anything for each other. For questions, any lingering questions you want answered about the section of the text, be okay if you can't answer those questions. Just write them down if you can't find the answers. Um, and even if you are able to find the answers, you can write down the questions because it might be another question one of your classmates has as well. And then finally, epiphanies are discoveries or realizations. So maybe you didn't understand the ending, what happened, but once you got with your group, you had this big realization of, oh, this is what's going on, or this is the use of irony in the text. Um, so anything that you just realize or have a clear understanding of can be under the epiphanies. Once you discuss with your group or as you discuss, um, you're going to take notes. So let's say you have three people in a group. One of you is going to write down thoughts. One of you is going to write down the questions. And one of you is going to record the epiphanies for your group. So it requires a lot of communication. So you'll have this document pulled up on your computer. Let's say I decide with my group of three, I'm going to complete the questions. So I, wrote, I will be completing the questions. And then you need at least five questions. So everyone is responsible for recording at least five items, whether it's the thoughts, the questions, or epiphanies. If you have more than three people in your group, um, just remember everyone is responsible to record something. So you might have two people that are doing thoughts. Um, doesn't mean that you need 10 separate thoughts. It just means um, each person's responsible for completing at least one note-taking document, at least one of those items, thoughts, questions, or epiphanies. When you're finished, we will do a whip-around discussion. So you should have five details, and each group member is going to share one detail from the category they were responsible for, so either the thoughts, epiphanies, or questions. And it'll be pretty quick. Um, it's just our way to kind of decompress before next class when we listen to the text again and try to put the pieces together and come up with a more general understanding of the text.